It's the 17th of May, and this is this week's Dream Car Results. Let's have a look where I was. See, I did. Uh, I only did a couple of tickets this week. So if we look at my closest only, um, say on a y-axis, the judges' selection was fifteen eighty-two. I was fifteen seventy-seven. So I was only five pixels out there on the horizontal, but I was way off on the x-axis. Uh, uh, my my thing for that is this guy was easy enough to spot. If you look at where his forehead is going and where his eyes are looking, he's looking along the horizontal by there. So it couldn't have been any higher than that or really any lower than that. If you look at the other guy there behind him as a bit of a backup, well, that could have varied a little bit. It could have been a little bit higher, a little bit lower because he's, he's further away. But he was, our, he was our main clue as to what horizontal line the ball was on. Again, this fella here in a red, that could have varied. And look, if you look at his height, he's looking sort of that area this eye is looking this area so i've put my cross sort of in the middle of the two i was quite happy with this line but uh, it, it was how far along that line was the problem clearly the winning cross so the judges pick was here so let's have a look at the judges video So Matt's drawn some lines here, and while he's got his little circle out of the way there, let's have a look at these uh, these lines. Now bear in mind, I was just to the left of this. So if you look at this guy on the right, he's the one that's headed it. It's quite possible that it may have gone as low as that. I can't see it myself, but obviously somebody thought he would. Could they have gone that high? No, it doesn't make sense. The line of his forehead, the line of his eyesight, neither of them make any sense that it's gone up that, that high. So I think we'd have to rule that one out. Now, Matt has left this player's eye out because he said it's going to get a bit too messy. But I don't entirely agree because I think he's looking on a very level, level line there, if not slightly, slightly upwards, which would put this about right. Now, this guy here on the left... His eyes look as though they're looking in two different directions. And I think that's what I did was because one eye is looking up there, one eye is looking over there. I put mine more or less in the middle over here by this one. The thing is, when you first look at this, it looks as quite a big spread. But then when you draw the lines in, you can see um, you can see why it would end up as a big spread because he's the only one there, the player on the right, it's the only one we've really got a proper effective guide on personally I think this one needs to go it's way too high and uh, I would narrow it down to this area this guy on the left is not much help really so that spread would have to stay sort of that wide but let's continue on and see what Matt decides to do so Matt Cannon has removed Liam's cross and Matthew's cross because they were too far out uh, and Joe is just about to ask him to remove his own cross, Matt's cross, to see where it goes. Help, Matt, yep, just to see sure. where it takes it. It just takes a little bit higher. Yeah, no, keep you in. It doesn't take it too far, does it? Um, so, yeah, I'm more than happy with that. OK, thank you. Uh, Andy? Um, I was about to ask the same question, to yep. be honest with you. I, I just feel that your, your red cross... Is a little bit too low for me on the eye line. But yeah. Yeah. So, so would you like that to be put forward to a vote? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Liam, I know I've removed you, but if uh, I could have your opinion, please. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Uh, I fully, fully accept. You know, myself and I, I think Matthew's uh, man enough as well. I mean, we know we're way outside the sphere this morning, and that's that's fine. Um, I just feel that where the average is. Uh, yeah, is it, it, it's borderline for me. I think I'm going to stick by my original opinion. I think there's a little bit of height on more height on the ball. Yeah. Um. Uh, but we, you know, you've got three three judges that is it three or four that are below. It's it's one of those. You know, it's one of those. But I would actually, uh, I wouldn't want to see the average going any lower. 
no, but, no. Uh, with my removal, I'm fully on board with that. I think I think that's a good call this morning. Okay, but I'll be candid and honest. I mean, uh, Andy suggested that um, we should vote on my own being removed. Um, do you agree with that, or happy with this? Uh, I'm going to stick. I'm going to ask you to stick, please. Fine, lovely, uh, Jenna. Um, I'm happy with how it is. I think the three that are poking out balance each other out, um, and I didn't feel the ball was heading that high uh, yep. when the two removed crosses were. Thank you, uh, Ari. Well, I'm I'm happy as as it is. Kieran. Um, yeah, um, I wouldn't want to see it go any lower. I think I agree with what Liam says. I'm not, I, I think we'd, I wouldn't like to see it any lower than that. I, I'm not sure about whether taking yours out because there's another one close to you anyway. So I'm not sure that would make a significant difference. Yeah, I quite agree. I wouldn't want to see it any lower. But then I would say that, wouldn't I? Because it's the exact same line as where I put mine. So I'm happy with it where it is, I think. But no lower than that, I would be happy with. OK, thank you. Ella? Uh, yes, the, av the average works uh, as it is for me. Thank you. Uh, Matthew? Yeah, happy with that. As a good firm majority who, who think the ball's been played, and, and I think where the average is, is um, yeah, it's, it's good for me. Uh, and lastly, Wendy. Um, yeah, I, I do like the average where it is. Um, for me, I think, is it Kieran's? I do think the ball is being played slightly down, so I, I would possibly say that is a tiny bit high but i think on sort of the other side of things it does is balanced out by your cross so um the, the final average i think as a result of those is, is good yeah i mean looking from the player on the right his eye line you know, when it goes through the uh, the calculated average we've got four and a half above and three and a half below so uh, uh, i think that's fine okay so gareth after my myself removing liam's and matthews we've had a debate and decided to uh, um move forward with this calculated average uh, i agree with this decision even though they've taken out um i wonder mean, if they've taken out two and they've let mark cannons in it did bring the cluster a lot closer together and even though i ended up in zone three where they've actually put the winning cross i think it's quite feasible because it's in line with the player on the right it makes sense to the player right at the back there it also sort of makes sense to this player down here because he's vague his eyes are looking in different directions altogether. So you'd have to go roughly in the middle. So it makes sense to me, even though I lost. But, uh, all right. But there we go. No win this week. Let's try again on Friday. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>